feeling? How, how different is it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's different every year. You got to get acclimated to who you are as a team, um, your new identity. There's new leadership roles. Um, but like I said, or like you said, with a lot of people returning, uh, there's a lot of same faces. I think we're returning nine starters on the defense. So it's like um, we kind of know what it is. So I feel like the offense kind of has something to prove in that aspect. So um, we're looking to compete this this uh, spring with the defense, and it's going to be a fun one. What's your, what your first impressions of Rohan? Uh, Will. Um, He's a funny dude, a uh, very likable guy. Um, we kind of hit it off instantly. Um, we've thrown a couple times, you know, not team organized stuff, but just, you know, on the weekends, weekdays after practice and stuff like that. So um, I'm really excited to see what he can do this spring. I feel like he's a phenomenal talent, a uh, really smart quarterback, and, uh, you know, he's a veteran guy, fifth year guy. So um, I'm hoping he can bring some experience. Matt, do you have any? Any injuries you're carrying into the spring? Do you need it? Do you get full workload, or how are you feeling physically? Right? Yeah, no, I feel great. Um, yeah, I've been working with my trainers. Uh, we have the best training staff in the nation. Uh, they're getting me right every single day uh, to be able to put my best foot forward this spring, and I'm looking forward to do that. Rex, where are you going to be lining up this spring? Uh, probably bouncing around a couple of different spots, um, just you know, honing my craft on the inside and outside. Um, in preparation for the next level. So don't necessarily know what I'm going to be playing at in the next level. So just, uh, you know, want to continue honing my craft everywhere I can. What is it like having five quarterbacks on the roster right now as a receiver? Yeah. Um, I feel like for me on the outside looking in, uh, it excites me because I know the competition is going to push them to be the best version of, this, of themselves. Um, I feel like part of the reason C.J. Stroud became what he was was because he was going at it every day with Kyle and Jack Miller. We didn't know who the starter was. So you had to put your best foot forward every day um, and compete. Uh, so with five quarterbacks uh, this spring, that's exactly the way it's going to be. So um, I'm excited to see the uh, competitive spirit come out in those guys. Hey, Michael, when did you know you were coming back? Um, pr I probably knew I was coming back, like, I don't know the date, but a day before I posted uh, that I was. Um, I took all the time I needed with the decision to consult my family, to consult God about it. Um, and I felt like ultimately the Lord uh, led me to return for another year to do something bigger um, than just for myself. Um, so uh, this season I'm going to really just uh, use it all to dedicate it to the Lord and just um, do that. How influential was it that a lot of the other guys in, that, in your class were just making the same decision? Um, or was it just a thing just for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously them coming back helps and we want to rally together. Um, but ultimately, I was going to make the best decision for myself. Um, and, and I was going to just walk by faith and go wherever I felt like the Lord was calling me. So through uh, many hours of prayer and um, talks with my family and agents and just gathering all the information I could, um, coming back made the most sense for me. And um, obviously, I couldn't pass up another year with my guys. What are the biggest things you feel like you can get out of it personally being back here for another year? Um, I feel like <clears throat> me coming back obviously was – um, kind of big news um, and with that comes um, you know I have more viewership on all my platforms and stuff like that so I'm going to use that um, to glorify the Lord to to the maximum and just um, use this use this next year um, to make sure his name is exalted and um, show people the hope in Jesus Christ. What are your early thoughts on Jeremiah? Freak, freak athlete. Um, one of the quiet, quietest dudes I've ever met. Um, not a man of too many words, but he came in and he put his head down and he worked. Um, I, I say this every time to freshmen who come in, but the only thing you have to do as a freshman is just shut up and listen. Like all you have to do is just shut up, put your head down and work. Um, and that's something he understands. How freak, what, does that, what does that mean in your dictionary? What does freak mean? Um, I would say there's nothing, he really, there's nothing he really can't do. He runs fast, he jumps high, he's strong. Um, he's a natural pass catcher. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, freak. And is he doing what you said? Is he sitting in, is he taking everything in? You know, how's he acting, uh, comporting himself? Yeah, he's, uh, he's very coachable. Um, you know, I, I do my best to uplift the young guys and, and give them pointers here and there, and he's always willing to listen. Um, he always puts his best foot forward every single day. He hates to lose. Uh, he's a competitor, which is huge, especially in zone six. Um, so I think he has a bright future here. How ready is Cornell for a big role this year? No, oh, he's always been ready. He's been ready since he was in high school. <laughs> what does it take for any true freshman receiver at, at Ohio State to get ready? To yeah. Get on the field? I mean, you, you, know, you and Marvin went through it when you were young guys trying to do that. What, what's it take? Yeah, I mean, I would think 
you know, logically speaking, you have to understand the offense. Um, you have to know the ins and outs, just not just not your play, but your role in the play, the concept of it all, um, which takes a little bit to learn, but it's not impossible. Um, and you just got to be, be able to block, uh, go out there, make big plays. Um, but ultimately, if you're talented enough, you're going to get on the field. Is Jeremiah intelligent enough and mature enough and all that stuff to, to start as a freshman? Yeah, I mean, I, I believe he is. I, I think the sky's the limit for him. Um, I'm not going to say that he's, he's starting as a freshman because that, that's not for the far future. Um, but if he continues his hard work and, and his diligence and his craft and he's able to learn the offense, um, you know, the sky's the limit for him, like I said. So what's it like?